Happy Saturday. What is going on, Bills Mafia? How is everyone doing? Weekend after the Buffalo Bills NFL draft. Uh, hope everyone's doing well. Hope everyone is content with the picks that the Buffalo Bills made. Um, I know I am. So much so that I wanted to recreate it in Madden. And uh, luckily, there are some sickos out there that gave me the draft class. And then I just went through and simulated a season and got to 2022 and got all the right rookies in place. And now I have the 2022 Buffalo Bills. Um, so I decided I wanted to try something out. I wanted to see if Bills Mafia had the appetite to watch the new draft class for the Buffalo Bills in virtual form. Um, and then obviously I'll be here this entire time to answer any questions you guys have about Madden, about the bills, about the draft class, about really whatever. Um, but yeah, this is totally unscripted. This is totally something new that we're trying out here at cover one. I should mention, thank you. Thank you. Thank you to cover one for giving me the opportunity to just test this out and gauge the interest of bills mafia. And furthermore, thank you, Aaron Quinn for, giving this hype little backdrop here for uh for the entire stream and the thumbnail of course he he came through in the final moments it was it was very big um so i really wanted to try this out i wanted to see if if people out there are sickos like me and they just want to see this draft class uh put to work kyle already coming in saying that we got to put Edmonds at edge or we riot um that that is understandable i get it there's been some uh clamoring for that on the twitter sphere uh, he will not be at edge. He is my middle linebacker. I actually responded to uh, Ant, and he said that, and I I told him the wildest thing about this is that I'm going to have Shakir starting at slot wide receiver. That That's going to be the wildest thing about this. It's going to be pretty true to form. Like I, I drafted Jalen Weidermeyer, um, and he was like a 78, and I had to bump him down to like a 70-ish overall just to – try to have some realism about this. Andy comes in and asks, will this be a whole season or just one game? So I'm just going to be playing one game. Uh, just want to see if there's interest from Bill's Mafia to watch this while I do a little Q&A. And then if people like this, if, if this gets good traction going forward, then I can play out the entirety of this 2022 season uh, week by week by week. And we can we can play it by ear that way. So we don't need to do it all at once. Cause I mean, if I do that, that'd be wild. Also, I'm a sicko when it comes to Madden. Like I play, I try to play realistic time length games uh, to give the most realistic stats and stuff like that. So I think it's like eight to nine minute quarters, but the game is going to be like 45. I think it takes me about 45 minutes to an hour to play one game of Madden. So we'll have plenty of time to talk about whatever, talk about the game, talk about anything. Buffalo Bills. So um, disclaimer, when Andy asks about the whole season or just one game, like I'm about to play the Seahawks and the Bills are not playing the Seahawks this year, but like I, I don't have control of the schedule management for Madden. So I'm going to be playing the Seahawks. Furthermore, I don't have an entire league updated roster. So I'm playing the Seahawks with Russell Wilson, which kind of sucks because, you know, I'd love to have a league wide uh, roster update, but I just don't have that yet. So it's unfortunate. It is what it is, but we got the Buffalo Bills updated. So that's what counts. That, that's truly what counts. That's what people are here for. Um, I, I, I have now gotten some rest. I, I have officially gotten some rest from everything. Um, I'm, I'm back on my regular sleep schedule. Uh, I hope Anthony is as well. We were up late nights after the draft. Uh, to figure stuff out for our in-depth analysis on all those players. But, hey, if anyone has any other questions about any of these players, uh, this is what this is for. Uh, Pops Mafia comes in and asks if James Cook is in the lineup. He sure is. I got a nice little running back rotation where uh, Moss comes in on, like, essentially anything with a heavy personnel. Essentially anytime like, a fullback is in or two tight ends are in, Moss is going to be in the game. Um, anytime the running back is not in shotgun. If you're, if you were not in shotgun and the running back is uh, truly like in a single back formation or something like that, it's going to be Singletary. And then anytime we're in shotgun, it's going to be James cook. I wish I could do it a little bit more customized than that, but that's just kind of the easiest way to create a rotation in the backfield with Madden. So 
that's what we're working with. Uh, so without further ado, I will spark this up and I will get the first game rolling. Let me share my screen here for everyone. But yeah, we are going to be playing the Seahawks. Like I said, I really do wish that we had updated rosters for everyone. But it is what it is. We got we got the bills updated, and that's what counts. Um. Oh, wow. Justin comes in saying he's top 100 in this game on PC, over 500 wins. I, I will be honest. I am not that great online. I, I am, uh, I'm, I'm decent online for Madden, but I, I just know how to beat the, uh, the CPU. That's kind of, I mean, I've been playing Madden since I was six years old and I know a lot of people are going to come in here and say that's probably only two years ago, but I'm used to those jokes. Uh, I like those jokes. I welcome those jokes. Um, no, but I've been playing Madden for yeah, 19 years now. So I, I just kind of know the cheese and how to beat the computer. So I've, I'm going to try to give myself a little bit of a challenge where I'm going to try to like not run the same play consecutively and try not to recycle plays on, um, even on a given drive. I'm going to try to make sure I'm mixing up play calls and stuff like that. Um, things like that. So I, I have it set to all Madden difficulty. I've, messed around with some sliders to make it a little bit more realistic. Hopefully uh, found some stuff online to hopefully make it more realistic, but it's always, it's always fleeting with Madden. It's, it's never that easy to make it as realistic as possible. And there's James cook coming in there, pushing Stefan Diggs, getting into things. So this, <laughs> this is also week two. I, uh, I played a game to test this out to see if this would, if this would work and I liked what was going on with the roster and how everything looked and I liked it. So I came in and uh, yeah, I decided we're just going to start at week two. Cause I don't feel like redoing the entire simulation to get back to 2022 and going through the entirety of the off season. So here we are. Um, <laughs> this is funny spin. <laughs> I, I guess I, I guess I oversold it or undersold it, but either way I expected a joke to come in nonetheless. All right, so let's get this going. I um I simulate the kickoffs. I I don't care to play kickoffs. Um I didn't save this roster, Chris. Yeah, no, I didn't save it. That's that is something I should do. If people are on PC, then I could save the Bills roster just to make it easier for everyone else. Like people could just download it from the file share that way. So that's something I probably should do, but we will see. Um, <laughs> yeah, the weather is typical Western New York, of course. It's kind of unfortunate, especially considering this is week two. You'd hope that you get some better we weather in Western New York, but I mean, this is, I think everyone is used to, everyone is used to this kind of stuff. And there it is, Von Miller's first sack of the game. Um, I don't know if that, that was his first sack of the season. I genuinely don't know. I don't remember if I got a sack with him in that last game, but we'll call it first sack of the season. Ran right into his man. See, that's the unfortunate thing too, because like the Seahawks drafted Charles Cross, and it'd be it'd be awesome to see Charles Cross on at left tackle right there blocking against against Von Miller there. But I'm just waiting. I've been checking it like daily to see if uh there's a, a league wide roster update on PC, but I just haven't found it yet. I, I keep checking the date added category to see if there's going to be one. There just isn't. It's really unfortunate, but yeah, that'd be really, really awesome to see a revamped offensive line for the Seahawks and then Drew Locke at quarterback. I don't remember who I put at punt returner. It's Stevenson. Suppose I should put a uh, Shakir at punt returner. I know a lot of people are saying Shakir punt returner and then Stevenson as kick returner. So I should probably do that moving forward, but I could change that at the next time. <laughs> Greg likes the open field tackling, putting all those qualms to rest for, for Kyer Elam. Um, Spin comes in and asks, which rookie are you most excited to see play in a real game? Um, I don't know. It's tough. I, like I'm in the middle of going through James Cook stuff. So like, I'm very interested to see how he fits into this offense because I think there's so many ways to do that, but I'd be lying if I wasn't saying Kyrie Elam. Like I I'm so excited to see how he's, 
going to change this defense and how he's going to grow and I don't know, just everything about him. Cause as people know, he was my, my cornerback seven, but the more you get to know the human being behind things, the more excited I, I am about um, what he could be in this Buffalo Bills system. And then like furthermore through the future of things. So yeah, Kyrie Elam's probably my answer. <laughs> Kyle comes in and he wants to bet. Um, absolute psychopath move trying to bet on Madden. I've seen crazier things though. I've seen people bet on on video games. So uh <laughs> I guess I can't call him psychopathic for that because uh yeah, I've seen that done before. All right, we're gonna give Cook some love, I guess, this drive. I do need to find a way to get Cook off the field a little bit more because I have him as a third down back and I run a lot of, uh, I run a lot of shotgun. I did say I was going to stop. Um, I'm going to try to not recycle plays. So I gotta, I gotta mix this up. I get used to running the same plays and I gotta make sure I mix it up. Oh, and Bobby Wagner still on the Seahawks in this. Yeah. See that that's the thing that we're going to be missing out on. Oh, Greg, Greg's got a lot of confidence in me. A lot of people have a lot of confidence in me. Apparently 14 and a half is a, is a big spread. I, I will say, I think I won week one, like 37 to 10. So I suppose that is a fair spread. Um, and yeah, I'm going to run it on third and three because this is a light box and I'm going to be very upset if we don't get this first down here. There we go. <laughs> I love it. People already coming into the chat trying to challenge other people to Madden. See, this is the kind of thing that I, I wanted to see. Oh, I got to get my mouse off the screen. I wanted to see if uh, if people had interest in this kind of thing. You know, obviously, this is an untapped market and Bill's Mafia content creation. This is something football fans love. Bill's fans, NFL fans, football fans love Madden. Despite how much of a copy and paste model this game truly is, it's still it's still a football video game and it's the mon it's the monopoly on the market for football video games. So there's still a lot of love for the game just because of, you know, all the different endless possibilities that you could do with it. Um, roster management wise and play style wise. I'm trying to, I kind of want to audible to a pass to get Weiermeyer the ball, but I'm just going to let it block. Yeah, Pops Mafia comes in saying it's a good way to talk about what we may see next year. That that's exactly the point. You know, it it's just it allows you to kind of play through some of those scenarios, whether you want to do it unrealistically or realistically. It, it allows you to kind of play through some of those scenarios. Um, <laughs> yes, I I I don't do it a lot, Greg. I I don't do a lot of three tight end sets, but I'm trying to mix it up because I will call this play right here stick like. 50 times a game if I could. So I got, I got to mix it up. I just have to, um, or else this it's going to get out of hand if I don't mix it up. So yeah, we're going to see some heavy sets. We're going to see all sorts of stuff. This is a weird defensive look. I'm assuming they're going to blitz me right here. I did not like that. I, that was a very ambiguous, pre-snap read from the defense. Kyle, I can agree with that. The new scouting update definitely caught me off guard. Um, I had to like learn the entire update to it, but I, I like what they tried to work towards um, because before it was just like, you knew a little bit about everyone. And now in the new scouting update, it's that you can learn a little bit about everyone, but you can really deep dive about like 10 prospects and truly set your board in that way. Um, so I thought that was cool. I think they're striving towards something better because they've had the same scouting system for so long, but I would really like to see uh, them grow on that, not just rest on what it was. Oh, you didn't keep running. That sucks. Diggs just stopped with me. That was really unfortunate. I got to get Diggs involved. You know what? Let's just let's just send him to the end zone. Let's 
Let's let's send both of them to the end zone. Yeah, yeah, why not? Why not? We got Davis. He's wide. That's unfortunate. <laughs> yep, David comes in, quick slants, corner strikes, stick, curl flats, forwards. <laughs> Those are the only passing concepts. Exactly. Like you can win this game with like three or four passing concepts, and you'll win every single game of Madden against the computer. But I'm I'm truly gonna try to give myself a challenge because otherwise, yeah, it's just gonna be too easy. You can move the ball way too easily. Um, but yeah, <laughs> right here we got we got a two by two set, four wide receivers and ten personnel, and we're just running quick slants. And I'm sure someone's gonna be open. And someone was open, but I missed them too early. So we're just gonna give it to Cook. Get the first. That was huge. See, that's something that I do want to see uh, next year, though, because that, that's the kind of situation where, you know, in real life, you see Josh Allen just run that. You see him run that because he has more confidence in himself in a lot of ways, which is a good thing and a bad thing to go pick up that first down. But there he just dumps it off to his running back and he allows him to be dynamic with the ball in his hands and get 10 yards after the catch and the first down. So that's one of those things that I'm excited to see from from James Cook uh, in this year, how he can help alleviate Josh Allen and perhaps a different a different way than what we were talking about with like I guess Brees Hall in the sense where he could be the bell cow and he could take a lot of the load off of Josh Allen in terms of the rushing responsibilities and I mean the dump off passes is another another pos possibility for that just to alleviate some of that pressure so we got Devin Singletary that touchdown right there uh big we're on the board I am simulating field goals and kickoffs because who cares? Uh, I love Tyler Bass, but I'm not going to waste everyone's time to watch that and me potentially miss one too. That's just not worth anyone's time or confidence. So we're just going to motor through that. No pun intended. Um, I'm going to try to play more quarters this game. I don't like running quarters, but I'm going to try to run quarters more this game. I probably could change Ryan Bates's name to Rick. If I really wanted to, I I think I could. I, I don't think there's anything that would stop me from doing that. I probably could. Um, except you wouldn't really see it unless you like hover over his name. Incoming Edmund stuff in the chat after a hit stick there. I'm just anticipating it. Anytime I do something good with Ed Edmunds, I'm anticipating something facetious in the chat. Oh God. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, that uh that line is looking real good from uh from Greg. That 14.5. We're uh we're trending in the right direction here. Oh, before this happens, I will where is it? Coaching. I will put Shakir as the punt returner. I should do this long term and not just do it for the game. <laughs> I don't run fake punts. <laughs> I don't run fake anything. I, I'm so conventional when it comes to Madden. Like, I'll go for it on, like, you know, aggressive situations when, like, McDermott goes for it. But I, I'll, I'm pretty conventional. Oh, what are we doing? Okay, whatever. Um, Pops Mafia, no, I think that was Milano. I think that was Milano rushing off the edge. Um, Because I had a blitz called on that play. I thought they were going to run it. All right, let's see. Got to get Diggs involved. That's unfortunate. We're just, okay. That's tough. It's tough to throw the fullback a bone when he drops it like that. You know what? This is, this is, this is, this is what James Cook is for. This is literally what James Cook is for. Pick up the block. All right. Not bad. <laughs> Just call me KG. All right. Maybe if this thing tracks and trends how I want it to, maybe. Maybe. I'll, I'll play you live. Maybe. But I like. I don't know how this is going to work out. This is a trial run. We're going to see how the people like this. If people like it enough, then maybe we can start making a series out of this and we can do something about that. But as of right now, we're going to stick to this for now. That actually reminds me, though. I mean, I know it's corny, but please, 
a like would go a long way on something like this, especially a trial run on something like this. It would it would really go a long way to help this specific live stream track and trend and gain some traction across not just the live stream portion of it, but also on the replay portion of it. Uh, like it if you like the new draft class. Like it if you like the way I'm playing Madden. Like it if like it if you think I'm a weirdo for making people watch me play Madden. Like it for whatever reason, I, I really appreciate how it helps the the cover one algorithm and of course the algorithm for this individual video. So greatly appreciate it if you if you guys do drop that like. Uh, let me see if I can get to something in the chat here. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, Greg, we see we see some more uh, we see some more screen passes this year. That would be that would be really cool if we could see some more of that. Uh, the Bills have definitely been struggling in that area uh, to complete screen passes and actually get some yards off of it. All right, let's see if this stick route. He's not going to get to the line to gain. Nope, no, he didn't. We're just, oh, okay. <laughs> I love that people like the screen to cook. That's, it's very funny. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping we see some more of that. Singletary's been, Singletary's been good, or I guess sufficient in the passing game, especially relative to what we didn't know when he was drafted and how little he was used as a receiver at FAU. So it's been like, I guess a pleasant sufficiency to see him decent on um, sufficient on the, the passing game. But I feel like cook is going to be a, uh, a menace in that regards, Greg, I literally just saw you say that Diggs was wide on the last play. So I made sure to force feed him on that mesh concept. I do need to force feed him a little bit more. Yeah, we're force feeding. Oh, I appreciate that, Corbett. I appreciate the support, man. This is this is definitely something where we had a lot of uncertainty um, going into this live stream. No idea how it was going to perform. No idea how people were going to be into it. But I'm happy that at least one person uh, is, is intrigued by it. And of course the 54 people that we have live in here really do appreciate that. Appreciate the love for the Buffalo bills. So unendingly that you'll watch, uh, some lunatic like me play virtually with the players. So definitely appreciate it guys. And there we go. Three plays in a row force fit force feeding digs. Um, sorry, Chris Janky. I see you saying let James cook, uh, let James cook Kendall. <laughs> Sorry. That was, I guess that was the last drive. I guess you came in a little bit late for that. All right. So we're going to simulate through this and get back to defense and to see if Russell Wilson can do anything. Um, I will say I've noticed this year specifically when there are mobile quarterbacks, they're just not good. It, like when the CPU controls them, they they don't do enough of that. Like just quick passing to just get the ball out and do something. If the play if the play breaks down, like the improvisational ability that they have in real life just doesn't get projected to Madden accurately. Like they'll just run around like a chicken with their head cut off in the backfield, and they'll get sacked for like a fifteen yard loss. So him getting the ball out quickly there is what he needs to do. Um, We'll see if he if he does that though. <laughs> Greg, it's the Buffalo Bills. Like you either love them or you hate them. So you gotta love this if you love the Buffalo Bills. That's that's those are the rules. I don't make the rules. All right, I think the uh, the game scripting is starting to come in now that I'm up 14 to zero. I think the uh, CPU has figured out that they need to put some points on the board. Um, oh, so I guess Chris, you weren't in here uh, during the preamble, the the brief preamble. Um, I went through and simulated the 2021 season, created a save point, waited for the draft to take place, and then drafted uh, all the right players for the Buffalo Bills, and then. Um, 
yeah, now now we're here. Unfortunately, it's not like a league wide roster update. So it's just I just had control of the Bills and I made sure that the Bills have the right roster and that's that. But I didn't I I didn't want to go through and make sure every single team was the right roster. I'll I'll wait for someone else out there to give me a a, a download some some shared download that I can that I can do to uh to get that all refreshed and it, and if this tracks and trends well then hopefully you know I'll have that live roster update and I'll be able to get it all shored up and we can actually run through a season in that way uh with everyone having the right rosters the right rookies the right free agents all of that stuff so hopefully it gets to that point but I don't want to put in the hours to create every rookie put them on the right team uh mix up all of the the free agents and make sure they're all on the right team. So yeah, that's uh, yeah, that, that'd be a lot. I'm hoping someone else puts in that work for me. And that actually goes into the next question. Um, Oh, fun. I was so close. Um, who was it? Douglas comes in. What are you playing on? I'm on PC. So that's the thing. The, the player base on PC is far less than what it is on like an Xbox or a PlayStation. So those, content creators on Madden aren't as plentiful to create those, those roster updates, those downloadable roster updates and stuff like that. So that's where it kind of sucks to be on PC, but being on PC gives me this ability to do this live stream and everything like this. It's just so much easier. It's so much more convenient for me to have, you know, just two monitors and be able to have StreamYard on one screen and Madden on the other and then just share my screen. So it makes it a lot easier in that regard. But yeah, you do lose out on the player base for sure. And no, Chris, yeah, you were already late on that joke too. Uh, Edmonds has not moved to edge. No, no. All right. Pops wants to see the two-minute drill. Um, see, this is where I might start recycling plays on the two-minute drill, but we'll see. Let's see. They're off on the boundary. I might swing this out to Singletary. We'll see. Yeah, we're swinging this out to Singletary. And he's about to get rocked by Jamal Adams. Okay. I never run this play. I don't know how this is going to work. Oh, God, he slipped. All right. Um, let's run the screen since everyone loved it so much the first time. <laughs> People want me to just step on throats with the Seahawks here. Oh, God, that was bad. All right, we got to call timeout. <laughs> so, height, weight, speed guy, is this where you learned all your football strategy? Yes and no. Um, I have been playing this game for, I've never missed a copy of Madden for 19, well, once I buy this next game model, uh, 19 years. And it's how I learned how to multiply by sevens. I didn't know what multiplication was, but when I was playing, when I was six years old, I learned what multiplication was through scoring touchdown after touchdown after touchdown, going up seven by seven by seven by seven. Um, but yeah, in terms of like concepts, football concepts and understanding like just little things about the game. Um, yeah, I, I, I did learn a lot from Madden. And then furthermore, once I started to <clears throat> put more of a emphasis on what I want to do with my life career wise into football and trying to get into the player personnel department for football. I started really honing in on like YouTube stuff on like coaching clinics and coaching points and just little things about concepts on defense, offense, whatever it is, personnel choices, whatever it is. But that's when I really started like sophomore year of college, when I really started like just branching off from what I already knew from Madden, but then also coupling that with higher level stuff versus, you know, just seeing corner strike here at the bottom, which I'm going to run. But everyone knows in real life, you know, this may be the route that Diggs and Davis have to run, but they have options. They have plenty of options to this based on how the cornerback is playing them because you can see both corners are playing they're hugging the boundary. They have outside leverage. So like they're probably going to be open on the inside of this cut, but once they break back outside, they may not be open. So I, 
Oh, and he's open. I had a feeling that was going to be cover two. But that's the other thing. You start to learn, like, you learn corner strikes. You learn, like, smash concepts. You learn what type of offensive concepts beat what type of defensive zone coverages or man coverages. And that's something that I learned at a very young age through Madden. And I attribute to Madden wholeheartedly. And then it just kind of got sunk in more and more as I hone my craft through, you know, trying to play at various levels. I never stuck through training camp. I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't do football. I, I love football. I love football to death, but playing it. I always, I always hit a wall during like training camp preseason time. Cause I'm a new school player. Um, if I ever become a coach in any sport, I am a new school coach at heart. I can't handle old school mentality stuff. So the way I was, it was tough for me to stick through training camp and all of that because I am new school at heart. Nice. All right. So we're on the three with 13 seconds left. <laughs> I told you, I told you, just call me KG. If, if this gets traction, if people like this enough, if people are interested in this becoming more of a series less than, or more than just a, a one-off type of thing, then I'll, I'll definitely, I'll definitely consider that. But no, this one, we're just going to finish up this game. Answer, answer any uh, questions people have about the bills, me, the draft class, Madden, whatever it is. Uh, but we're just going to rock with that for the rest of this live stream and hopefully get James Cook his first rushing touchdown. I believe I got him his first touchdown. It was a uh, receiving touchdown in week one. What was the first Madden you played? Do you get the new one every year? Yeah, Chris, I get the new one every single year. Um, but grudgingly, um, almost like shame for, for me to even say that. I get the new one every year. I buy the roster update for $60 every single year. Um, but the first one I got was 2003 with Marshall Falk on the cover. Um, yeah, I'm so sorry I said that about about 13 seconds left on the clock. I didn't even think about it. I swear to God, I, I didn't, I I've like, I've totally repressed that. I guess it's, it's totally, I don't even think about that, but I, I am sorry for all of those that just had a traumatic moment right there. That is, uh, that is my bad. Um, let's see what else was in here. Um, what was peak Madden to you? That's a great question because that's like that's so layered too. I feel like the problem with peak Madden was that there's also like the years of technology getting better. So it was probably one of the years when we switched from like Xbox 360 to Xbox One, like or like PS3 to PS4 kind of stuff. So I think that's when like that first year when you start to see those next generation updates and everything that that gets added to that that might be it but another interesting thing i have in mind is way back when like ncaa was a thing and you could create a player on that and do like road to heisman and then upload him into madden and do like your career from road to heisman into the nfl and madden i feel like those were great i mean i i just miss ncaa football video games those were great i'm a tech mobile veteran <laughs> Yeah, see, I'm I'm too young for that. I, I I am. I truly am. I can't I can't lie. All right, we're gonna we're gonna run this play. I like PA cross. Davis is usually open here, and we're gonna send Diggs on a go. Hopefully, he can beat that press coverage. Yeah, Chris, NCA needs to come back. Uh, there's obviously been talks about it, but it needs to come back. Yep, exactly. Kyle still playing NCA 14 regularly. It's that good. It it's just those games are that good. Is Diggs open? Not really. We're going to feed OJ. Oh, my God. <laughs> we got one yard. We got one yard. Yeah. Yeah, those NCAA games were great. They were fantastic games. I uh, I think, th I, don't I don't know what the deal was on it, but I know, obviously, since all the court stuff has passed and the NIL deals and all of that and using players likenesses, all of that stuff. I think they're coming back. I want to say in 24, I could have the year wrong. 
All right, we're gonna do something to get. Oh, that was foolish. All right, we'll get it back. We'll we'll run the ball and get half of it back. That was foolish. I feel like if this becomes a series, um, delay of games is going to be prevalent for me, considering I'm doing so much work with the chat right now. But it is what it is. It's okay. It's okay. We'll work with it. We're also up 18 points. Um, you know what? Let's get it all back at once. Let's get it all back at once. Like I said, we're up 18 points. Beat press. He beat press. Let's go. Sorry, Andy. I uh, I saw I saw the safety closer to dig, so I, I threw it to the other side. I, I threw it to Davis because there was no safety on that side. Um, just call me Kate Madden Ultimate Team. I I used to play it a lot, but um, I don't like the grind. I don't I don't like how I don't, I don't I just don't like the grind. I don't like how you have to stay so updated with it through the entirety of the year and how how often um, new things come out and it's just a grind. It, it's too much. It's too much to keep track of. David, I see you getting mad at me for saying I was going to run it on second and long. I told you I'm conservative in nature when I play Madden. I just, I am. I don't do a lot of uh, risky things on Madden unless I see something from the defense that allows me to take a risk. I, I'm usually very conservative where I'm like, oh, second and long, let's get half of it back and then pass on third down. And that is extrapolated to what I think McDermott should do, and that's why McDermott's better than me. Um, yeah, we're going to give it to Diggs here. Hopefully Shakir's open. I'd like to get him a touchdown, but it looks like Diggs is going to be wide open if he beats his press. He didn't. He didn't. We're just going to give it to him. Oh, Knox was open too. Would have been nice to give Knox something there. Yeah, it does, Dwayne. Um, keeping your quarterback's footwork, like making your quarterback a statue is how you're going to make your quarterback be as accurate as possible. Um, yeah. Any sort of movement definitely screws with that. All right. We're going to make this a wheel route because I did not like what cook was doing otherwise. And hopefully Shakir doesn't get into his way. Kind of did. He kind of did. We're just going to run with it. EA Sports is planning on a relaunch of NCAA football in the summer, but that could have changed. I hope it's 2023. That'd be awesome. I mean, obviously, a long time. It's been a long time coming, but yeah, that would be that would be absolutely awesome. Yeah, I'd love to get that game back. All right, everyone, close your eyes. Zach Moss is in the game. I know how everyone feels about Zach Moss, but I'm still dying on the Zach Moss hill. In fact, my Dead corpse is still on the Zach Moss Hill, and there it is, even further dead, one yard on third and three. All right. Um, no, nah, we'll give Bass some XP. We'll give Bass some XP. Um, I probably could have converted that, but it's okay. It is what it is. I'm glad I, I prefaced it in that way, saying that with Moss, and then he just didn't get the first down. That was honestly too perfect. Hopefully he's better than that, though. I still have a lot of faith. I still have a lot of faith in Zach Moss. Um, in terms of what I think, I, I'm I'm gonna go on a, I'm gonna go on a a, a tangent right now. Um, I think drafting James Cook was a great thing for Zach Moss because James Cook is a complement to both Moss and Singletary. They allow. Moss and Singletary to live in their, I guess more Moss. He allows Moss to live in his niche and, and Singletary to be, you know, just the all around well-rounded guy. And then Cook's going to have his niche and Moss is going to have his niche. And I think that's going to be very valuable what that presents. So yeah, he'll be that short down or short yardage, um, maybe goal line, all, all that type of stuff. He's going to do that type of stuff more than anything. And he'll be able to come in on third down and still pass block and catch out of the backfield if he has to, just to mix up tendency. Uh, yeah. Tendencies because um, <laughs> Ronald. <laughs> yeah, I do dream big. I, I think, I think Zach Moss still has a chance. He was so productive in, in college. He, he showed production for the bills in his rookie year. 
got injured and then obviously struggled since the injury. But I still like Zach Moss. I think he has enough to be a sufficient back in this league. He's definitely not the answer. Don't get me wrong. But I, I do think um, <laughs> Dwayne told me to get off the Moss train. I don't think I'm ever going to get off the Moss train. I just, he was that one draft pick that I, I called. He was the one that I was like just pounding the table for um, in the third round, especially after, oh God, that's unfortunate. Especially after the Bills passed on um, J.K. Dobbins to draft A.J. Epinesa, then my my sights were squarely on Zach Moss in the third round, and then it happened. So now I'm kind of like I'm I'm just kind of stuck standing for him. But I, I will be honest, um, I, I do think drafting Cook does present uh, a bit of a challenge for him. But we always talking about how iron sharpens iron, and I, I do believe that it's. Um, it's going to be good for him because it's going to allow him to live in his niche. I, I do really think it's going to be good for him, but we'll see. Time will tell. Uh, ultimately, Duke Johnson could show us something that, you know, we just didn't have. He he could he could do enough where it's just, you know, we're going to have three of these guys and we don't need a power back because we have Josh Allen. Who knows? <laughs> All right, next possession pops. I'm going to get OJ OJ Howard the ball. I'm going to run a lot of 12 personnel, and I'm going to get OJ Howard the ball. It's my mission. He's got one catch for one yard. I believe that was Benford in there. Yeah, I got to get some more of these, these rookies in here. It's kind of tough when you're in nickel. Maybe I'll just start usering with Elam. Just keep it fun. Mix it up. I usually use her the uh I usually use her a linebacker. I think that's the easiest way to play, but I'm gonna use her with Elam and give myself a challenge. Not bad. Oh, uh, he said north running back, as they say, Moss grows fading. North is fitting. <laughs> Yeah, he's just got to get north and west or north and south, uh, but he's got to make sure he's not running into blockers. I think that's a huge thing for him. Obviously, the vision component, but that's the thing. He 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 showed sufficient vision his first uh, his first year. He was more than sufficient. He he actually presented a lot of value and showed that he can be a complement to Singletary. But yeah, what he looked like he was going to be running back one A. Uh, I mean, when he got injured in that Colts game, it was devastating in the playoff game, the first playoff win uh, to break that, that drought um, back in 2020, he, he looks great up into that game. He looked pretty good in that game. And then of course he got injured and yeah, it, it's been a tough road for him, but I, I still have relative faith. I think that's the way I should probably put it with Zach Moss. It's, it's relative faith because uh, obviously relative to what he's been doing, Saying you have faith in him does not mean you have faith in him to be the bell cow going forward. You have faith in him to be enough on a rookie contract. And now Ed Oliver is injured. Hopefully I have injury settings. Sliders turned down to be a little bit more realistic. Uh, otherwise you will have a bruised sternum every third play. So hopefully that's uh, actually a leg injury because he was limping. And hopefully he's only an out for like a week or so. Yeah, it's a good point, Douglas, on Gilliam. Gilliam could be used in those short yardage situations. I don't remember what game it was last year, but we definitely saw Gilliam used as a, um, just in the backfield. Like as a running back, we we did see that on occasion, truly on occasion though, like emphasis on occasion. Uh, but we definitely saw that every now and again. And they finally get on the scoreboard, the Seattle Seahawks, with their quarterback that is no longer even on their team. All right, so <laughs> all right, it's a leg injury. It's a quadricep quadricep strain. Uh, will not be available to return for this game. So hopefully it's just a week. Hopefully it's just a truly a strain to his quad and not a tear. Um, but yeah, moving forward. Now we get, I should, I should put Tim settle in as the starter, try to get him some snaps. Oh God. Oh wait. Oh wait. I told, I told pops I was going to get, 
you know what? Let's let's just get to the fourth quarter first. I'll just let this run out, and then I'll get into twelve personnel, and I'll give OJ Howard some uh, some love. Get the Penguins some sacks. Yeah, I I, I really should put him in. Um, I'll do that. Just try to remind me after this drive. I'll, I'll switch him in to uh, to being the first or second um to being the first or second defensive tackle sorry i'm doing so many things at once <laughs> yeah let's try a pa boot penguin is uh tim settles nickname or i don't know if it's technically his nickname but it something he goes by oh jesus all right two catches for two yards for oj howard not not going well in terms of uh oj howard production we're gonna get a first down so we can give him some more love should we do another slip screen oh right that is what it is it's his sack dance chris comes in yup yup that's what it is I was like, I know it's not his true nickname, but I know obviously it's attributed to him. Didn't know how or why. Shakir. All right. Now it's OJ Howard time. Stop feeding OJ. I'm going to give OJ something. Um, I'm going to. I need to. I feel like we've been spreading the wealth so well, and I would like to get OJ something here. So let's try this. There we go. PA boot to this side. That was stupid. I just did it to the boundary side. Whatever. Oh, that's tough. He was open. Got stuck on someone. Uh, what did what did you say? Just call me KG. You still, you still want to? You still trying to play? I, I told you, you gotta wait a week. If that, you gotta wait a week. All right, we're gonna try this bunch set, and I want him on the dig. Yep, yep, I want him on the dig. See, this is really deep in the playbook. I don't call these plays. I, I just don't. And he's not open. All right, we're just going to have to run it and get the first down real quick. Um, let's do... Honestly? Sure. This is realistic. Get get Dave, Gabe Davis on the, uh, the toss. Crack block. And we couldn't get the edge. Oh! That was fortunate animation. It's a very fortunate animation. All right, so let's let's get back into 12. And then let's do this on the little drag route. This should give us something. Let's clear Diggs out of there. I mean, honestly, I might just throw it to Diggs if he beats his press, and he didn't. No, let's just take what we can get here. <laughs> Every <laughs> everyone loves Singletary on that effort. That's funny. That's really funny. That was a good. That was a good play. Got to give it to him. Yeah, he got bumped up to like an eighty-four overall or something like that for this year. Well, based on whatever happened in the simulation of twenty twenty-one, that is. I'm gonna make this an out route. Ah, that sucks. It's going to be tough to get OJ involved. I'm really bad in 12 personnel for Madden. It is just not what I do. Not at all. Let's see if there's anything else. Um, I already tried a bunch. Let's try this. Honestly, that could work. Just a little stick. Uh, I didn't, Chris. 
I want to say with the roster update, he's like a 92, I think. I think in the most recent roster update, he's a 92 overall. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong on that. Either way, it's ballpark. It's ballpark. Uh, all right, all right. I'm getting out of 12 personnel. I can't. I, I just can't live in that. <laughs> of course, the first play I pick is stick. This this play is my bread and butter. It is, in my opinion, the easiest play to beat the computer with. And the stat line looks pretty uh pretty realistic. This is why I play this long of games on yeah, this difficulty, this game style, all of it. I, I just I like how it breaks down the the statistics moving forward for like league leaders through the season and all that stuff. Ugh. Wish they patched that. Those bubble screens on the RPOs are a little wonky this year. All right. Oh. All right, I'm going to give Zach Moss another bone here. Let's go. Formation, I form. And then power. This does not look favorable, but we're running it anyways because of what the score is. I guess I'm making Greg's line wrong if I don't get this. Oh, we got it. When they change the running in Madden in 27. Yeah, running is a little bit different. You like you can't mash the sprint button. Uh at least what I do is I wait till I see the the gap. Like I didn't press sprint until I cut it back inside there. And then I started pressing sprint. So it, it it's definitely a little bit different in that regard. And and also in a lot of different ways, they definitely changed up running a, a decent amount. All right, so I'm going to, before anything happens, going to put Tim Settle in because Ed Oliver's injured, and I would like to get the young guys some XP. So Tim Settle and Daquan Jones? I guess so. I guess we'll do that. And then I got to make sure on my sub packages, I have Tim Settle. And okay, Jordan Phillips, that works. Yeah, and then we'll push Daquan Jones to the third there. Oh, Pops wants me to sub the linebackers. I probably could. I don't know who uh, would I take out Edmonds for Bernard. Wow. It's going to be weird adjusting to Teron Johnson in seven. It's going to be really weird. Oh, yeah, I wanted to play with Elam still. Oh, God. Yep, I blew that. That was all me. Yeah, it's not easy playing with, with corners, user corners, or when you're in uh, man specifically. That is really difficult. But, yeah, this should be a little bit easier for me. Be on the one side of a... Oh, no, that's a two-by-two two set. Oh, okay. CPU Edmonds interception. What does everyone have to say about moving him to edge now? Virtual Edmonds is the best. <laughs> no, that was pretty funny, though. I uh, Edmonds is just such a beast in Madden, and I feel like the problem is a lot of people who play Madden expect more from him in real life because he's just... he's incredible in Madden he's got incredible potential he's young and he just gets so much better every single year um but <laughs> yeah he's I uh this actually flows perfectly uh Chris what do you control most on defense pass rush question mark I play with Edmonds I I play with the linebacker I think it's a, the easiest thing to do is play with the linebacker if he's blitzing if he's spying if he's manned up or if he's in the hook curl zone, whatever it is, I think it's easiest to 
positively impact the play and negatively impact the offense when you're using the linebacker? Because like right there on that Edmonds interception, like if I was using Edmonds, I could have baited the CPU to make that pass over the middle and then just jumped in front of it and made the interception for whatever reason, Russell Wilson was stupid enough to just throw it right to Edmonds. But <laughs> Justin comes in. He didn't drop it. I will say as an Edmonds stand, God, his hands, I don't get it, man. Like year one, he had like two or three interceptions. I could be wrong on that. He had a ton of pass defenses and interceptions in his first year. But yeah, in the past like three years or so, he's just been dropping so much, so much. And it's been, it's been very wild to me because he's a good athlete. It's not like, I don't know, hand-eye coordination. I don't know. Maybe he's got to work out with Dawson Knox or something. Who knows? Obviously, that's like the least of his concerns. If a linebacker can't catch the football, it's whatever. I'd rather him be better in plenty of other areas than catching the football. But yeah, either way, that is uh, definitely something I can I can concede without question. He's He's got to work on that. But we are simply running down the clock at this point, and I guess maybe taking a touchdown. Probably could have gotten one there. Um, who needs a touchdown? No one needs a touchdown. Josh Allen could use a passing touchdown. He's already got one. Yeah, exactly, Chris. If you if you blitz with your linebacker, it's it's pretty easy to get sacks at times. Um but yeah, it, it depends how you're using your defense. Like I, I usually sit back in zone. I I I run cover three almost exclusively. Um, so yeah, that essentially it makes it pretty easy for me to just sit back and get interceptions. But yeah, there are times when I'll I'll sell out for the run and I'll blitz, and then you just get a lot of linebacker sacks. But yeah, I definitely play the middle linebacker a lot. But that's kind of why I want to give myself the challenge, especially considering it's 38 to 10 right now. I'm going to have to figure out if I do this next week, I'm going to have to figure out a way to make these games more competitive. I'm going to have to find a way to fluctuate the the sliders. Uh, I mean, I already have it on all Madden. I, I'm going to have to do something with the sliders, maybe just give myself some other rules in terms of like what I'm doing um, play call wise who I'm using on defense, all those kind of things. I'm going to have to start like giving myself rules on top of maybe fiddling around with sliders, but we will see. We can address that throughout the week if, if this continues and if everyone liked it, but I'll address that once the game ends. <laughs> this is not competitive. <laughs> In no way is this game competitive right now. Oh, against Seattle, 38 to 10 is realistic. That's honestly kind of fair uh, with the way Seattle is in like purgatory right now. They're they're in such a weird spot. Like, are they trying to win or are they trying to just get good draft picks? I don't know. I think that's actually funny on Plug Productions. I actually, that might be the sliders that I use, Matt 10 sliders. I, I could be wrong, but those actually might be the sliders that I use. I forgot. It, it, it was a while ago that I put these in. Um. But yeah, that's the game. Um, 38 to 10. I'll go through the statistics with y'all uh, in a second once we get through this. Um, let's see here. I, I imagine it was somewhat realistic, the completion percentage. That's uh, that's pretty wild. We got 30, we got 88% uh, completion percentage, almost 300 yards. Oh, it was 81%, excuse me. Two touchdowns, no interceptions. Longest pass, 47 yards, and I'm pretty sure that was the one to Gabe Davis, if I'm not mistaken. Um, got a pretty nice rotation here with the running backs, right? Yep, we got three for 10, three for 12, and 10 for 59. I'd argue that this is somewhat realistic moving forward. Um, I mean, the three for 10, obviously, you'd like to see Cook be a little bit more efficient with those touches, but... I mean, as long as he's doing his job on those three touches, like, you know, if he's picking up a first, I wonder if they actually have first down as a statistic here. They don't. Of course they don't. It's Madden. Um, but yeah, as long as he's a effective with those touches, I mean, I think the split in terms of play calling wise, like calling a lot of passes versus calling 
however many runs and then splitting it in a way where it's Singletary getting the bulk and then you're kind of splitting it in some form or fashion with Moss and Cook based on whatever the situation is. So I think that's somewhat realistic. Um, Shakir, 5 for 47 with a touchdown. Gabe got 5 for 96. No touchdown. Diggs, 4 for 63 with a touchdown. I should really start targeting Diggs a little bit more. His stats are going to be low, low, low. Um, where's Knox? I know Knox had some. Yeah, 4 for 32. That's a pretty realistic Knox stat line. Just throwing a touchdown every other week, and that's, that's Dawson Knox for you. Sometimes he'll pop off. Sometimes he's just doing what he needs to do. Um, and yeah, I think we had that Von Miller sack pretty early on, but that that's pretty much the rundown of the statistics. Yep, it was Matt Milano on that sack. Um, I guess Tyrell Dodson saw the field and got a tackle. I did not did not notice that. Should have been Bernard on the field. I don't know how Dodson got on the field. Um, that was like the one thing that I changed. I made um, made Shakir the the starting slot, and then I made Bernard the third linebacker. Um, obviously those things are projections through and through those are projections, but, um, yeah, that was, that was game one. So we beat the Seahawks, uh, handily. Um, yes, Josh Allen didn't get over 300 yards. So that is clear regression. Uh, he's never going to get back to his 2020 self, which is sad. No, that's not true. He He's always getting better, but either way, that's, that's the first game that that's, Essentially what we're going to be doing if, if this continues and if you guys like this, um, let me know, reach out to me on Twitter, put something in the comment section, smash the like button, whatever it is. Let me know if you want to see this continue moving forward. Um, hopefully I get a roster update. So every single team actually has accurate rosters, not just the Buffalo bills with accurate rosters. I think that would be awesome. Hopefully I get to that point. Uh, if no one makes it for me and people really want to see this moving forward, then maybe I'll take the time and do that myself. Um, we'll see. Uh, but no, I really appreciate everyone for being here. We're still at 51 viewers right now, which is honestly incredible. I wasn't expecting this kind of turnout on a Saturday night. Um, we were, I think at or near 70 for a while. So really happy with how this panned out in, in all honesty i'm really happy with the amount of engagement we had in here the amount of questions we had in the comments but yeah this is essentially what we're going to be doing going forward if people like this if people like this and they want to see more of it it's going to be buffalo bills content through and through bills new roster playing x team i think the texans are the next on the schedule but like i could skip that and i think the pats are the next team on the schedule after the texans and we can just keep going through those games just watch the rookies progress watch how this roster is used you guys can like give me prompts for what you want to see me do i had people obviously requesting things in the chat for what they want to see me do and like it can be that kind of way where the chat somewhat controls the script of the game and i'm just the one controlling the controller um but yeah no i had a lot of fun i thought this was awesome i love the engagement and yeah that that's pretty much what it's going to be moving forward so definitely let me know if you guys like this style of things um if you want to see it moving forward uh if you want to see it truly like q a style where um, I'm not trying to do it live with the chat. If you want to see, if you want me to like take questions through the week on Twitter, and then I can come here a little bit more prepared with answers and I can talk through those while engaging with the chat and kind of go one off one on with the chat in terms of that versus the pre, um, handled Q and a questions. So I'm open to all sorts of ideas when it comes to this. I really wanted to um, gauge Bill's mafia and see where the interest was at with this. And I, I was pleasantly surprised with how many people were, uh, how many people showed the appetite to consume this kind of bills content. I, I was pleasantly surprised and truly humbled by it. Honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that people, people came through to see it. So definitely hit me with that. Like hit me with that comment, hit me with anything. Let me know what you thought of this. Let me know how you think it could be better. All of that sorts of stuff, uh, helps this track and trend if you're doing it on the YouTube. And of course, if you want to get at me on Twitter, it's right there at the bottom at Mersky Kendall. I'll be doing a ton of 
different stuff on the rookies. I've been hopping into James Cook tape. I, I finished all of his 2020 tape. So now I'm getting into his 2021 stuff. So it'll be a lot of that coming forward. This week's film room, our live film room is going to be on James Cook. So I'll have a lot of James Cook coming up this week. And then I'll probably be getting into Bernard after that. But either way, that's what we had for tonight. Please let me know what you thought of this uh, in the comments, on Twitter, whatever it is. Really appreciate all of you. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend, wonderful rest of your Saturday night, and of course, go Bills.